We first say that mutual information represents a reduction in uncertainty for one random variable after viewing another. Therefore, it is defined as a difference between marginal and conditional entropies. Note that mutual information is non-negative, so we cannot detract information from a random variable. It is also symmetric. We have the lower bound 0 when the conditional is equivalent to the marginal entropy and the upper bound of the marginal. Taking this expression, the second term may be defined using Shannon's definition of entropy. The same process can be done on the conditional entropy term and we cancel the negatives. Multiplying through, the, we are now summing over a joint probability space and then we can write the probability on y given x of y as the joint distribution divided by the marginal with respect to x. The marginals cancel and we're left with this term. Much the same process can be done on h of y. We extend um, the sum to a joint probability di distribution by writing the marginal with respect to y as the joint. Now we may subtract the two, so factoring out the joint distribution we're left with a subtraction of logs and the probability with respect to y is on the denominator here. This is directly analogous to callback Leibler divergence between the joint distribution and the product of marginals. KL divergence measures how one probability distribution differs from a second. Since the joint distribution of x and y is equivalent to the conditional of y given x times the marginal with respect to x. When both x and y are independent random variables, then the conditional is equivalent to the marginal with respect to y, and we're left with the joint equivalent to the product of marginals. So we are measuring how far the random variables are from independence because if two random variables were independent then they would share zero mutual information.